describe this is to literally pick up some seeds and begin sowing and hopefully you'll uh, get along and get the idea of the game. I can only pick up seeds from my side of the board. I am not allowed, unless capturing, to collect or pick up seeds from my opponent's side of the board. Same is true again for my opponent. They can pick up from their side of the board. They distribute round the board, but they cannot pick up or begin from my side of the board. So I'll pick up the contents of the pit. Whenever you pick up the contents, you pick up all of the seeds in the pit. In this starting situation, there are four seeds. If there are eight seeds in there, I would pick them all up. No matter how many seeds, if there was one seed in there, I would pick that seed up and I move them anti-clockwise one at a time, starting from the hole immediately in an anti-clockwise direction. So one's gone in there, 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 and there. And that is the end of my turn. There is no repeat or relay sowing. In certain games, you would pick up the seeds, carry on, pick up the seeds, carry on, until you got to a vacant hole. But in this game, you have one move, there is no relay sowing, and you place all the seeds until all of the seeds in your hand are spent. Okay, I'm gonna move for my opponent now, as I'm here on my own, and um, again, they can only pick up from their side of the board. So they pick up the contents, let's say, of this pit here, and they move in that same anti-clockwise direction. All four seeds, one, two, three, four. As you'll notice, it's starting to return back round on my side. Last seed landed in there, and that's the end of their turn. Now it is my turn. Um, I could pick that one seed up and literally drop that in there. I could pick any of these other seeds up as I desire and, uh, and distribute them. But just remember, you pick all of the seeds up and you distribute them in an anti-clockwise direction. Right, I'm going to make my move now. Okay, I said earlier on that the object of the game is to capture the seeds of your opponent. Well, it's my opponent's turn, and I'm just going to show you how we actually go about capturing seeds. The way we do this is by landing the last seed of any turn. So when we pick up a group of seeds, if the last seed of that turn lands in your opponent's pit, and it makes either two or three seeds, that enables the person or the player to capture and remove those seeds from the board. But it's only if you can maneuver your seeds and make that happen on your opponent's side of the board. Now it's my opponent's move and they're going to do just this now because they're gonna remove the five seeds from this pit and if we count that round, one, two, three, four, five, that will land in this pit, make two seeds which fulfills the criteria it's on my side, I, I'm their opponent, and they will be able to remove those two seeds from the board. So let's just make that move. One, two, three, four, last seed, five. That's made two. They now remove those seeds from the board. And it's now my turn. They have a single seed over there, and it stands to reason that any pit with seeds totaling one or two are vulnerable pits because if I can land a seed on top of there and make that become either two or three seeds with the addition of that seed, then I can capture. But in this, position, in this particular situation, I cannot because I have six seeds in this pit and that's gonna fly right past that pit there. Six, pit, six seeds in this pit, that again is gonna go one too many. I've got five seeds there and that's actually gonna bring me up short. So I can't capture that seed. So although we might think of it as a vulnerable seed, to my opponent it's not, because I, it, it's in no danger of capture from me. So um, I'm gonna make my move here now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's now my opponent's turn. Again, although I've got single seeds there, which could be deemed to be vulnerable, they can't actually land any seeds on those at present. Um, all of these seeds will go too far, 
five seeds here, one, two, three, four, five, and they won't make it to these single seeds. So my opponent picks up this pick. Okay, in order to make this uh, video a little shorter and, uh, and not too boring, I hope, um, I'm just going to move, I've just moved the seeds into a slightly different configuration. As you can see, myself and my opponent now are in a situation where we've been winning seeds from each other. Um, it's now my turn and we've got a slightly different thing that you can do here. You can actually perform what we call multiple captures and that is to say you can capture more than one pit. Now I mentioned just a minute ago that if you land your last seed into a pit and it makes either two or three seeds, you capture that pit. Well, the same is true in any of the preceding pits and I'll show you what I mean here by this. I'm going to pick these six seeds up here and I'm going to move them in the anti-clockwise direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now my last seed landed in this pit here. It's two seeds that is definitely a capture to me. But the one preceding it also has now three seeds in it. The one preceding that has two seeds in it and they also are captured by myself. So now they become my seeds.